let's cross over. Now it's time for Frontline. This is another segment on COVID-19 360 where we get to speak to our uh, infamous doctors on the show. We have Dr. Betha Sewa Ayi, and she is an infectious disease specialist. And also we have Dr. Newman Arthur, who is a clinical psychologist. Thank you so much and good morning. You all look very well. Yeah, Thank good you. morning. Good morning. <laughs> Another round of education for us. Life but quickly, yeah, let me just update good. people one more time. Yeah. And so as it stands, Ghana has recorded a total of 313 cases. This is 26 new cases as compared to the 287 cases that we had recorded earlier. Now, when you go back to Greater Accra region, it used to be 256. Now we're at 274. Ashanti region had recorded 18 as of the last time we we're updated. Now it's moved to 25. Northern region still stays at 10. Uh, upper West region at one, Eastern at one, Upper East region as one as well. Now we have a new addition, which is the Central region. We've recorded one more case there. And so I'm going to start off with you, uh, Dr. Newman Arthur. Now, if you look at the way we're recording cases, is there a particular trend that you may have identified? And can you give us more updates on that? I, I think that if you look at it carefully, it started from Accra, yeah. shifted to Kumase. Now it's getting to other places. Mm -hmm. And I think that basically it's because of movement. When the president talked about the lockdown, right? Yeah. You had a lot of people leave Accra and Kumasi to other places. Mm -hmm. And that movement may be responsible for the spread across the other regions. Because this virus moves when a human being moves. Yeah. So until you're able to contain them in a certain environment, the moment they move, you, it will be difficult to control the spread. Yeah. So I'm sure even in Cape Coast, in the coming days, we expect to hear maybe some, you know, some other numbers coming up, right? So the moment a human being moves, the virus moves. When a human being doesn't move, the virus does not move. Speaking you know? of and which... And so I think that okay. it is the movement around mm -hmm. that side that that period mm. that is responsible for the spread in other regions speaking yes. of which we're hearing that even after the president shut the borders of ghana air and land um we we noticed that there was a man who tested positive recently i think he's part of the recent cases in kumasi and it was said that he arrived in ghana from cote d'ivoire quite recently after they had shut the borders Okay, so we're not able to establish how he managed to enter the country. But from what we're hearing now, when they heard that he had contracted the virus, a lot of people rushed to want to go and see him and identify him and mm. know why he was the one or how he's the one who contracted the virus and all of that. Does it mean that we really still don't understand what it means to stay away from each other? No, absolutely. You know, I think that the information going around about this virus it's influencing a lot of people to think a certain way about what the virus is. So if someone has a respiratory infection, what is, why do you have to go and see the person mm -hmm. if, if you don't have a certain mindset about the illness? You know, and so when people hear corona, and I'm sure when they hear corona, it sounds something in their ears. You know, it looks like some, I don't know whether it's an alien or another <laughs> type of animal, something. Yeah. You know, so people have all kinds of mindset about this. And that is one of the things that is responsible for stigmatization all over. Mm -hmm. You know, I learned someone went to, uh, to uh, from Accra to, I think, Cape Coast or so. And they asked the award, you can say it's Accra. They all started running away yeah. because Corona has arrived. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so so it is, it is the, that is why I say that, you see, the people in the cities and around may have heard, even yeah. those who have access to information, consistently like those who watch tv are on the internet mm -hmm. but in our population how many people have tv sets how many people even watch and most people around this time may not be listening to a news or something they'll be watching movies mm -hmm. you know even young people mm -hmm. around what are they watching on their phones they don't have time for corona and stuff like that yeah so it's a sign that the education hasn't really gone on because anybody who understands will not stigmatize anybody and yeah. the person also won't be too overly afraid or panic about it, mm. but they are going to be cautious. So the information really has to go because anybody I try to explain to, right, they tend to understand and, you know, they, they are happy they had that information. And sometimes you wonder what they are hearing from, from yeah. other sources. That yeah. is why TV3 is doing a very, very good job 
uh, this time trying to uh, this program is amazing it's amazing we are very grateful we are very grateful add some momo to it for us anyway so let, let me go back to dr betha Aie, and we're talking about the debts he's saying that he's not sure why people are scared well for me I, I believe that maybe the issue about possibly dying from the virus could be one factor as to why people are scared now we have recorded six deaths out of those we only have information for four of them Okay, the first one, it said, was a 61-year-old Lebanese male trader. Um, you know, he reported to a facility in Kumasi with fever and cough. They tested him, he was positive, and then unfortunately he lost his life. The second death, we don't have, we don't have details on that. The third one was a wife of a retired two-star general. This happened at the 37 military hospital. And, you know, Anita had already given us updates as to how uh, we're hearing that she may have received a parcel. I think I heard that it was from the UK or so, and that's how she caught the virus. Unfortunately, she passed on. Then Obua's father, that was on March 27th, he also unfortunately passed. There was this hula baloo around his death and how it happened, and one person was revealing that he had just returned from a trip. Then yesterday, Doc, you also told us about um, the, the fifth death and what could possibly have led to the person um, you know, dying, because the person was indoors for a number of days. And unfortunately, he, you know, he didn't get better because they asked him to self-isolate. So you can see that they are not giving us exact details because even the six death, all they've told us is we've recorded six deaths, but we don't have details about this sixth person. Now, what we've noticed as well is that for most of these people, they were above the age of 60. So that means that we do understand that these are the vulnerable uh, people that need care and attention. Yet, when we identified that they had some of these illnesses, we didn't necessarily isolate them in a, in a medical facility but we can't necessarily blame the hospital it could have been that they didn't also report the case early so what do you have to say about how they are refusing to give us enough details about the death situation in the country um yeah i think they should provide um, some information so we know why the people died but i think what is happening is what is generally characteristic of this infection um, most people who would, who would not have symptoms will be fine. Mm. Those who would have symptoms will have very high fevers every day. And then on characteristically between days 8 and 10, mm -hmm. they develop some shortness of breath. And between that time and requiring ventilation and death, it's about 24 hours. So we, we may have to find a way of figuring out or at least monitoring people who are ill between days 8 and 10, because that is when they can die rapidly. And this is not just when they're home. Even in the hospital, those who would deteriorate, one minute, they're maybe not even requiring oxygen to their little short of breath. You put them on some just intranasal oxygen, and then within 24 hours, they don't have enough oxygen, and you have to put them on the ventilator. So I think we just have to find out a mechanism for picking those who are going to go downhill rapidly. And Mostly is uh, those above the age of 60, although the fifth patient was only about 40 years mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. Okay, the fifth pa patient was about 40. Was, uh, yeah, for, I, I believe a 40-year-old man. I see. Now, there also the other situation is that we're hearing that some people have been discharged for home management. Um, so that means that, what, have they been, are they free from the virus? Do they still have the virus? And if that's the case, what does it mean to be discharged for home management, especially in a case where, you probably live in a single bedroom with your family. How does this work out? So home management could be two things. Home management could be that you are on maybe day five of illness, you're not having any fever. And in fact, your presence in the hospital or healthcare setting is a risk to healthcare workers because we have to bring you food, check your vitals, clean your room. And so you are much better off at home if only you can keep informing us of your symptoms, it's better you're at home. Now, in a one-bedroom situation, I think this is where communication or case management is important. If I don't think if the public health officials know that you are going back to a one-bedroom home, they will let you do that. Mm. Because even for those who have went into forced quarantine, the government rented hotels for them to yeah. stay in. You know, they weren't ill. So I think this is a, we're dealing with a very sensitive uh, management team who, if they know you are going to go back to a one bedroom and put a lot of people at risk, um, I hope and I believe, I don't know for sure, mm. but I think they won't let you go back to your one bedroom. But essentially it means go home, have very minimal interactions with your family 
and um, hopefully you would recover nicely. Sort of like if you've been watching CNN, what Chris Cuomo has been doing. He's yeah. in a basement by himself and mm -hmm. just monitoring his symptoms, checking his temperature twice a day and taking good care of himself. I see. Uh, Dr. Newman, let me come back to you. Now, you treat a lot of patients as well. I'm not talking about coronavirus, so please don't get scared. But basically, what are some of the <laughs> factors that you have identified could be the reasons why some of us easily catch the virus? And it could be life choices, uh, behavioral factors, all of that. What are some of the things you've identified? Oh, I think that for this one, like we said at, uh, in other, other issues, we talked about stress. Mm -hmm. Stress is a major risk factor that reduces people's uh, immunity and that increases their risk of getting that. Then also behaviors, like for example, stay home, you will not stay home, right? You're likely to meet someone who has the virus. And we are saying this because the virus, even if you have a good immunity, you can have the virus. If mm. you have good immunity, you can have the virus, but the progress of the virus, as in the damage you to do to your body, may not be as much as someone who has a, a, a lower immunity. So moving around, is, it can predispose your risk of, of getting this virus, regardless your, of your immunity. Then also all the things that we've told people to do, wash your hands, use hand sanitizers, social distancing. If people do not do that, it, it increases their risk of getting the virus. So it doesn't really matter who you are, where you are, what you, uh, your status and everything around you, whether you're healthy or you are not healthy. So far as you come into contact with someone who has the infection, your likelihood of getting that infection is very high. Could it also and be also eating habits? That. You know, we have a culture where we tend to greet people easily. So you meet someone, hello, you know, we do communal eating as well and all of that. So couldn't that also be a major factor? Actually, actually, our culture, our culture predisposes us to this, you know, and, and we, we, we are communal in our way of doing things. And in a home, for example, you have a big bowl, and everybody eats from that bowl at a time. All those, you know, cultural practices and family practices uh, increases people's rates of, of getting that. And, and I have also seen that and when family members are afraid to disclose their symptoms because they, they don't want to be uh, diagnosed with coronavirus, mm. it increases the risk of other people around them getting the virus. Infected. So yeah. now there are a lot of, some people call me and ask me on phone, uh, it's my symptoms, corona, you know, and that kind of thing, right? And there are people who have their symptoms until they are struggling before they report, mm. you know, and that increases the chances of everybody around them, including the health facility. I told you that someone walked into my facility and he lied about all their symptoms. And when I had to probe and probe and probe, it, it looked like corona and I had to be isolated mm -hmm. for two, for two yeah. days. Yeah. Imagine this person, this person had coronavirus, all the people, she came with four people, hmm. right? All the people who came with her, plus all the people who uh, she met on the way, plus the health staff she lied to and all that, they are at higher risk of getting the infection. So fear of disclosure and fear that you would be diagnosed with coronavirus also increases the risk of people, other people around, people who have also symptoms, uh, increase their risk of having it. Doc, yes. we're talking yes. about boosting your immune system, eating the right food. I want you to give us, you know, a proper breakdown. What are some of these foods that we should be eating and all of that? And I'll be happy if you could do that in Ashant, in Chi, in English, in Ga, if you can, <laughs> just so we can capture as many people as possible. Okay, but first of all, I'd just like to mention, I'll go to your question, but I'd like to mention that today is an important landmark in uh, COVID-19 disease because today marks exactly... 100 days since the World Health Organization was informed on January 1st that mm. there was a coronavirus outbreak. And um, the WHO, I've had, you know, issues with them, but um, they've been important in making sure that we receive the right information. They've provided instruction to, you know, various countries. They've shipped um, testing kits. Um, and they're right now engaging in research and development. So yeah. a thumbs up to the World Health Organization for the work and um, information that they've provided. Absolutely. And so um, now to your question. Your diet is very, very balanced. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, in general, if you don't want to remember too many things, just drink. Who said? 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 Who said?
color no is because if you pigment it be a emma vitamin b and it's all for tomatoes in quantum ray um yeah do a yeah yellow um uh quince um what, wait, what is what is quince by the way um, I don't know how to say it. I have to, I have to tomorrow I'll look for it. There, I've been drew. I've been drew. Uh -huh, the thing that you use for, <laughs> for I've been drew. All those things. Oh, are, the green are, thing that yeah, you mix with things. your palm nut. Exactly. Ah, exactly. ah, ah. Okay, okay. All, all those things. And I, I, I in particular, I, I try to add some ginger, kikedro, any garlic. I mm. try to add that to almost everything I cook. Because all these things have antioxidants. And so all these things help your immune system. And yesterday I was explaining to somebody that sometimes when we say the immune system, some people think it's some system hiding somewhere. Mm. Your immune system is just your white blood cells and they produce something called antibodies to fight disease. So you are as healthy as your immune system is as healthy as you are. Yeah. They are sharing the same foods that you eat. So if you take a disease like kwashiorkor, menka kwashiorkor, kwashiorkor nko lani nya protein na omu timu ye tia no omu ye fan ya kesi ye. Bibi sa no, protein na kwa lani nya ninti, I affected bibi ya, inti wu ni pa uwa hona se, wadu ya nini na wu di ne kama, e wu hiya se obe kwa kwa shifre se owe, mi didi ye boosti mi immune system, didi ye, E bi ani na o be nya nya ho froye pa nya ho enkwan pa na didi na ho se wo honam no wan kasa wo wan nya o body se wo nya o body wi a unless se wan kasa wo immune system disorder be to say hiv and a hereditary disorder be no your immune system is going to work fine inti nya me ma vitamin c eh to say anka e de ma ma vitamin d to say enwo um palm oil um, pepper, carrots, anything with red pigments in it, they are all really, really good. A lot of beans. And more importantly, to going on a plant-based diet. I'm not saying you should become vegetarian, but if you limit your amount of red meat, now would be more plants, plants, fruits. And and Ranami Kacho said, Revelations 22, verse 2. Bible cast it, or see there is a tree which bears 12 fruits. It mm. yields one fruit each month. And the leaves thereof, God has made it for the healing of the nations. I'm not saying say COVID-19, no, nedrobe fi plant bi munaba, but nyakopwa kase emia ba odi amayen for the healing of the nations. Yeah, as much as possible, be timia. And you may fear sa simu bano. Mane endosum ewa wo dai tini. Enti se mi di ti se benku two balls fish ketwa ba ko ena pepper. Is that okay? Because maybe that's what I can afford. You are saying we should blend it with a lot of colors because they are the ones that give the vitamins. But more importantly, so when your fish pee and come up, say, in Kruman, how they come from? In Kruman, in Norsu. Okay. Okay. You can Kruman on the Norsu because in Kruman, they are not born yet. Hey, since you are in Kruman, why are they? One, one city. <laughs> anyway, so I'm told that I'm Is that what it's called? I'm in Susha. Uh, yes. Okay, it's called Techie Berry. So just in case you're wondering, okay. thank you, Sheila and Davi AC. They corrected me. And to my director yes. as well, Babina. Thank you so much. <laughs> now, Dr. Newman, I mean, basically, what would you say to people? And I want you to communicate, especially um, to communities where we're hearing they are not adhering to um, social distance. Now we are recording cases gradually in some regions as well. So I know you're fancy. Today we're doing all the languages. So it took me a fancy chunk of for day. I was there, I was spaced out. I was protected. Why is Dr. Lafayette? You know, the, 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 you know, the me here, baby, you know, a bra, nimpa, or moving, in our spread. And it's a nimpa, and kwa, a bono, so onko. And that is basic. Say so if people don't move, the disease will move. You know, yeah, yeah, malaria, malaria, on on tum tum, in us move. The tum tum, a quarantine, or yes, it. She the area, you know, clean environment. But the nimpa, on this is a catch the nimpa don't tina wa. Nimpa go to mat na wa. And this is here in our yes, if ye, ye in chin, ye in kobe be only the yakwa. Then virus, hey, na na no be brassy. Now we know Cape Coast has recorded one case. Mm -hmm. And all those, you know, I think the last week, you know, last week was the last week, uh, Facebook and WhatsApp, 
Om there's a castle nature in Kofu, so walk or a beach party, say Bazi Bazi. You know, the Minya Mano, a virus no, or spread. Mm. In the same shape, ye, na empire, and she will be our virus. Many kept close from Yerikasan, <laughs> central region from Yerikasan. In the same shape, ye, as an own spread, say, and shape, ye, and shake, she will be our virus. And one of the things that Orma controlling this is difficult is that controlling human behavior is difficult. Controlling human behavior is very, very difficult. In the say, you know, you're back there, the memory, or yes, but you know, you're better, more there, yeah. The mazi, you're both to me, are so non on them. So we want to encourage people that you may not die, but you may spread it to Obia Obu. And so we all have to pay attention and follow whatever we need to follow. <laughs> oh, so I am perfect, Fante. I can perfect. So see, I walk and cry. Then maybe later we can add, you know, I just want Dr. Bertha to also leave a message in Ghana more about washing hands and all of that as well. Well, Dr. Bertha, why am I? Yo, ofa ne inye mi me Ghana bi, mi panye fai, he la eba, ni e fada ne, me ni te man se, ame ke he la eba, e wo mi panye fai, Kake ni wa hi shia, nya ba mwode ni wa hi ashia, ni nye de wade fo mo hon, ofa ane ko ba fo de, gomens ke ebo mwode, bi ane nuwe free, ya no agbele pipe ni inho, no ni inho, no kose mla, no ke fo de, e ya miyake ako ho hand sanitizer, se tuwa ni, she no ko chun ni fe samla, because e break of virus, se e envelope e completely, e wo, min da nye shia ke nye ke wefe program e nye bo watwe, Nye fwa nye de, ni nye hi a shia, ni nye ake nye mwe wo, no ni government ke ni bi fen wa fye wo, he la ne, waba ye non kunim, ni waba, waba ye, waba nya, wase, e jake, waba kake gana, ni he la ba she, e nye ya shon, because wo fen wo domoshin, ni wo no joba, e wo min da nye shin. O fa ne samla, ke samla komye, ke min ke fonde, if I wash my hand with soap, can someone else also take the same bar soap and wash their hands with, is it safe or do we have to cut it in pieces and share? Oh, fine. Some law of fame or any more use a fine because virus say can not some law if I break up completely. Oh, okay. Well, it's fine to share. Yes. All right. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> this Yo, has been exciting. Yeah. Dr. Bertha <laughs> Sawai <laughs> is an infectious disease specialist. Thank you so much for speaking to us. And Dr. Newman Arthur is a clinical psychologist. Is, is that why you say you are Zoe? Oh, that's Western region, not Central region. <laughs> anyway, but no, thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. <laughs> and tomorrow we'll get some more updates, especially okay. on the case in the Central region as well. But have a good day and thank you for speaking to us. Thank now